Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of June 19th to June 25th, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at your energy first. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week. What is Scorpio's energy in regards to love for this week? <clears throat> Scorpio. What is Scorpio's energy in regards to love and in regards to their person, whoever they're connecting to and dealing with in love for this week? Scorpio. All right, thank you, Spirit. We have the Page of Wands, King of Cups, King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups in Reverse, Queen of Wands, Four of Swords, Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, and here's your card, the Tower, showing up. Ooh, this, the Death card, which is your other card, Scorpio. Look at that. Death, tower, and death together, together with justice. Hmm. Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles. There's some sort of big shift, big change in regards to a specific relationship that you have with someone. This looks like someone returning back because we do have the Eight of Cups here. Someone walked away. Eight of Cups and the Ten of, so Ten of Wands. Someone, someone walked away from this relationship. Someone cut ties with the Queen of Swords. But someone is returning back here. Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. There's communication and there's some sort of apology or, or an offer of love. All right, let me just get your energy though. What are you doing, Scorpio? I'm having a hard time reading you or picking up on your energy. Because I feel like I think your I think your energy is neutral. That's why I'm having a hard time picking it up. I think you're you're maintaining a neutral energy. That's why you have the <coughs> sorry. That's why you have the justice card connected to the tower. The justice card is a very neutral energy. So you're not sure. You're in this energy of, I don't know how to react. That's what I feel like you're doing here. I don't, I don't know how to react. I haven't quite made a decision yet. I'm still gathering information. I'm still gathering information. I'm still making an assessment. I'm still making an evaluation. I don't need this person. I feel like that's what you're saying. I don't need this person. I don't need this relationship. But the question is, do I want this person? Do I want this relationship? And that's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm, that's what I'm in the process of assessing and evaluating. I feel like that's what your energy is telling me here, Scorpio. You're not quite... <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm still a little sick. You're not quite convinced, you know, e either way. 
you're not quite persuaded 100% towards, you know, towards one direction or the other direction. You're like, you're right in the middle. You're right in the middle. You're not walking away, but you're not walking towards this relationship either. You're kind of standing still. Like I said, gathering information, collecting information. All right, I'm going to I'm going to try to break your energy a little bit more. Hmm. Cuz the only energy that feels like you is this nine of pentacles. I don't feel like there's anything okay. else, but let's see. Um, let's clarify. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about this um, Nine of Pentacles and, and Scorpio's energy, please. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles and Scorpio's energy towards their person this week. Yeah, well, there's definitely bad memories that you have connected to this person and this relationship. That's for sure. <clears throat> You have been, you have gone through um, your share of disappointments when it comes to this person slash relationship. <clears throat> Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles and Scorpio's energy. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, the, what did I say? There it is. Three of Swords. Heartbreak, grief, disappointment. That's why you're not That's why you're not like strongly gravitating towards this person. That's that's why you're you're <coughs> sorry. That's why you're holding back. Because you're remembering what what you went through with this person and how it wasn't all, you know, roses and, and rainbows. Hmm. It wasn't all um, flowers and rainbows. So you definitely have your reservations here. You have strong reservations in regards to not wanting to return back to this specific relationship slash connection. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else here. Let's take a look at that Six of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Six of Cups in reverse and Scorpio's energy spirit towards their person this week. Oh, okay, yeah. Strength card, again. This is an energy of you feeling wounded, you feeling, um, you feel like you got hurt within this relationship. But the love is still here. That's why you're not walking away completely. Yeah. Because with the Three of Swords and the Strength card, this is the card of the heart. And we also have a heart here. There's, this is like a double heart energy. Um, there's, there's still a lot of love here that you carry for this person, despite, despite the pain that they put you through or the disappointment they put you through, you, you are still carrying this energy of still caring about this person and feeling love for this person and wanting this relationship. You just don't want to get hurt again. So let me look at your energy here. Tell me about this death and tower and justice card spirit. <clears throat> Connected to Scorpio's energy. Tell 
Tell me about that tower and justice. Connected to Scorpio for this week. Four of Pentacles. Okay. You're protecting yourself. And the Eight of Wands. Okay. And the Ten of Wands. It's interesting. There's an energy of you like protecting yourself from this person, from this relationship, because it, it has hurt you in the past. But I feel like you're also holding on to it at the same time. You're holding on to this person at the same time. Hmm. All right. I feel like your energy is over here as well. This feels like your energy. Tell me about um, Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Wands spirit. Connected to Scorpio. Clarify this energy. Thank you. Ace of Cups with the King of Swords and the Justice card again. Ooh, interesting. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Justice, Eight of Cups. Hold on. Woo, look at that. Holy moly, look at that. Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups just showed up together. Okay, well, this could be you headed towards this person again. We also have the possibility of new love here because we do have the Ace of Cups here. So this can this could be also you headed heading towards new love. Give me a second. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Hmm. You can you can go either way. It's 50-50. You can either you can either head towards new love or you can either or you can head towards this person that wants to be back together with you and that wants to like make things right with you again and recover the relationship with you. This person from your past. So you can you have a decision to make basically because you're showing up here as King of Swords and the Justice card. So it looks like the ball is in your court basically. It's up to you. Like the decision is is yours. Cuz it does look like this person is making their intentions known or like this person is opening the door up. Um opening a door of opportunity to reconcile with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This is reconciliation energy. So you can either choose to give this another chance, have a new beginning with your past person, or have a new beginning with a new person. But I feel like this is you kind of deliberating, basically. Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Um, you're definitely taking your time to properly deliberate and to properly um, evaluate what you truly desire and what you truly feel called towards. You're tapping into your intuition here with the High Priestess. Okay. Let's move on to your person. Let's see what's going on on their side. <clears throat> Let me see, what do I wanna keep here? Okay. Let me just keep all of these cards just in case I need them. This relationship has definitely been, been burdensome though with the Ten of Wands, it's definitely been burdensome and, you know, draining. But the thing is that the love is still there. And a part of you is still holding on to this connection. 
but the but the sorry but there's also another part of you that is in this energy of i don't want to go back there i don't want to go back to that situation i don't want to expose myself again to more to more heartbreak to more potential heartbreak and disappointment so you're a little bit torn here all right let me let me get this deck here let's look at your person Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Let's take a look now at Scorpio's person's energy. What is this person's energy towards Scorpio for the week? What energy will they be bringing towards Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio's person's energy in regards to Scorpio and their connection and relationship with Scorpio for the week. All right, here we go. We have the magician, okay? They're trying to manifest something here. To the seven of wands, to the three of cups. To the seven of cups and the knight of swords. Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, The World, Five of Swords. Okay. Hmm. Interesting energy. Magician, Seven of Wands, Three of Cups. What does that mean? Give me a second. Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, The World, Five of Swords, Three of Wands, Nine of Cups. Oh, interesting. So your person, um, yes, they want to make things right with you. And yes, they want to like apologize for... for whatever hurt they caused you. But I also feel like this person is communicating here that they also feel like they were hurt by you and they also feel like you you disappointed them or you you betrayed them or you lied to them in some way or whatever it might be. It's like this person feels like you you also um caused damage to them and to this relationship. This is them basically saying, I'm not going to take full responsibility of everything that happened between us <clears throat> because you were also playing games, Scorpio. That's what they're saying here. See, five of swords and the devil. This is them saying, Scorpio, you were also playing games. I wasn't the only one who was playing games, we were playing games with each other. We were playing games with each other. Okay. Two of Pentacles, Hierophants, Three of Swords. Yeah, but I feel like what this person is saying here is that they feel like this relationship is valuable, valuable enough to fight for and to try to save. That's what they want to do. They want to try to save this relationship. Even though there is a lot of hurt and pain with the Three of Swords, they feel like you two could, can still work things out with the Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant because of how much you two have already invested in this relationship with the Hierophant. You two have already made, made a big investment with each other. Um, there's history for some of you. There's a long history. You two know each other, you know, way back. 
or like you two have been in a relationship with each other for a significant amount of time. Um, and under, underneath, the, underneath it all, there, there's a lot of love and there's a lot of compatibility, I wanna say also with the Hierophant. There's a lot of compatibility. There's differences, but there's also a lot of compatibility. That's what this person is saying. And they feel like, you know, it's almost like they're saying there's, there's pros and there's cons, like there's good stuff and there's bad stuff. But overall, they feel like there's more reasons there's more reasons to save the relationship than to, than to let it go. They feel like the value that, that exists between you two, it's, it's worth it to, you know, to try to make things right and heal the situation, heal the connection and move forward together. Okay. Let me see what else is here. Yeah, they're they're definitely communicating here significantly. All right, let me clarify what they're doing over here. What's this magician with the seven of wands spirit in Scorpio's person's energy? What's the uh What's the magician to the Seven of Wands and Scorpio's person's energy towards Scorpio this week? Why the magician to the Seven of Wands? The Death card. That's you. The Death card. Yeah, they don't feel like this is a relationship that should end. They don't feel like... They don't feel like it should end. They feel like whatever issues you two have, they feel like it's it's something that you two can work through and resolve. Especially if both of you kind of set your egos to the side, because it does look like there was a lot of, you know, playing games here with the Five of Swords. Especially if both of you put your egos to the side, that that's what this person is saying, Scorpio. They feel like you two would be able to accomplish um, getting this relationship back on track and, and headed towards a more positive outcome, to, towards a more positive future. So they don't feel like it's necessary. They don't feel like it's necessary to just completely throw the relationship, you know. To completely discard the relationship fully. Um, okay, tell me more about Magician to the Seven of Wands spirit. Anything else about that? <clears throat> Magician to the Seven of Wands in this person's energy, Scorpio's person. Yeah, what did I say? Six of Pentacles. I told you. Six of Pentacles is all about working together to create balance and harmony and stability. And it's connected to the, to the Death card, which is your energy, Scorpio. So this person wants to fight for the relationship, wants to fight to save the relationship. They're trying to manifest a new beginning with you. Um, it also feels like, you know, a reconciliation here with the Three of Cups. Okay. Let's see what they're communicating here with the... We have the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So there's definitely communication coming from this person. Very... <coughs> sorry. Very blunt, to the point, upfront, clear communication. <clears throat> Tell me about that spirit. Tell me about the Knight of, Knight of Swords.
Mm. Why is the Knight of Swords here in Scorpio's person's energy for the week? Woo! The Four of Wands. Well, geez. This person's definitely um, committed and focused on recovering this relationship with you. Four of Wands is all about a relationship. They want to be in a relationship with you. Okay, they want to clear they want to clear the air. Seven of Cups can represent confusion. So they want to clear the air. They want to clear out the confusion. Yeah, it's almost like they they're taking a very practical approach here towards rebuilding this relationship. This is like them wanting to have a conversation about, sorry, have a conversation with you about what you two can work on. With the Seven of Pentacles, this is all about putting in work and effort to grow something. And with the Ace of Swords, it's like they wanna talk about how you two can improve the relationship with each other. It's like they want to have a very objective, practical conversation about improving the relationship and making sure that a cycle doesn't repeat itself, a negative cycle doesn't repeat itself between you two. Like, you know, this is what I need to work on and this is what you need to work on. And, you know, this is how we can try to create more stability. It looks like they, they want to talk about, you know, actual solutions, you know. Because they don't want to repeat a negative cycle any more than you do. Hmm. All right, so Scorpio, those are the energies that I'm seeing here um, in regards to you and your person for the week. I'm going to continue now in the extended reading, and I'm going to take a deeper look at your person. I'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, because I don't feel like I'm getting that message here. So I'm going to take a deeper look at their true and real feelings for you, their true and real intentions for the week, and what actions will they end up taking towards you by the end of the week and the overall outcome between you and this person. All right, if you're interested, you can follow me there in the extended. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.